They, they found a cure with a little-known drug that's illegal in the U.S. It's a good thing a potential cure to addicted substances is illegal. You wouldn't want those things to negatively impact our society. Here you see many people enjoying the day not negatively impacted by the illegal potential cure. Just enjoying the day and doing some exercise. Is there a way to stop drug addiction? Maybe. There's a plant in West Africa that may be able to stop heroin addiction. Ibogaine is a naturally occurring psychoactive substance and has been traditionally used for ceremonial and medicinal purposes by some indigenous communities in Africa. NBC26's Megan Lowry explains the catch with this so-called miracle drug. The so-called cure works so well, heroin addicts get clean almost instantly. But the problem is it's illegal and there are some serious risks involved. Ibogaine is a Schedule One controlled substance in many countries, including the United States, due to its hallucinogenic properties and potential risks. Its use is highly regulated and it is not approved for medical use or available as a prescribed treatment for addiction. It would be a shame for all the big pharmaceutical companies to lose so much money by allowing a natural plant to make people better. It would be incredibly irresponsible and a violation of fiduciary responsibilities to shareholders. We spoke to one young man who knew if he didn't do something, his addiction to heroin would kill him. Relapse was more violent than the previous time. That's when Jake and his family considered another option, ibogaine, a potent hallucinogenic drug that comes from a plant in Africa. It's said to greatly reduce withdrawal symptoms and drug cravings. The big problem? It's illegal in the U.S. Ibogaine is believed to have properties that can potentially interrupt addiction to drugs and alleviate withdrawal symptoms. It has gained attention as a potential treatment for substance abuse disorders. Looking into it, my parents looked into it, and I was like, you know, maybe there's something to this, but I was still very skeptical. But Jake was also desperate, his life out of control, so he decided to give it a try. Due to its hallucinogenic effects and potential risks, ibogaine should only be considered under strict medical supervision and in specialized clinics or treatment centers where the necessary safety measures and monitoring can be provided. Welcome to Ibogaine University. This clinic in Mexico has been treating drug addicts with ibogaine for the past four years. In Mexico, you do it in a place that's legal and safe, and then you go home clean and sober. Going home clean and sober after a trip from Mexico is quite generous. It's staffed by former users and a full medical team. They pre-screen candidates and test the drug on them first. Then doctors give addicts one individualized dose of ibogaine. You prevent the patient from going into physical withdrawals and also you prevent the patient from actually getting uh, the cravings to continue using again. As an advocate for weaning off drugs, this doctor is a little too intense for my taste. It kind of resets the brain's chemistry. Ibogaine University has seen more than 600 people and say they've never had a fatality. Jake oh spent about 10 days in Mexico and was amazed how he felt after his Ibogaine treatment. It got me clean overnight, took away all my withdrawals. I mean, it's a gift. Now, Jake looks forward to the future, a future without drugs. It is important to note here that Jake needs to improve his fishing form. We can't be sure if he was still on drugs in this clip. There's been very little research done on ibogaine, so experts are hesitant to call it a cure, but addicts who have used it say it's helped them get clean and stay clean. 